Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 and I'm going to be helping you decide if it's time to upgrade or wait. Let's get started. Alright, so comparing the PS3 to the PS4, it's pretty cut and dry. PS4 is obviously the new console, so Sony's upgrade to the PlayStation 3, so obviously it's going to be a better console with higher specifications and better features and things like that. So I'm not going to really go into them in too much detail, but you can see on screen here we've got the specifications. You can see the CPU on the PS4 is 8 cores in comparison to the PS3 only having a single core. It's got an 800 megahertz GPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and in comparison to the PlayStation 3, only 256 megabytes of RAM and only a 550 megahertz GPU. So you can see that the things on the PlayStation 4 are much higher than the PlayStation 3. And although the clock speed of the PS3 is higher, its single core processor and the small amount of RAM are the big factors. So really only having the one core at 3.2 gigahertz is not as good as having eight cores at 2.75 gigahertz. So just keep that in mind um, in terms of that specification right there. Now because this video is mainly for people who own a PS3 and want to know if they should upgrade to a PS4, I'm just going to assume you all have a PlayStation 3. And with that being said, the PS3 is still a very capable console with tons of games to play and a lot of great features that are still supported by Sony. Now how long that Sony supports the PS3, that's up to them. But as long as it's supporting it and you're getting games and new games from developers out, you shouldn't really have to rush to get the PS4 or put yourself in debt or borrow money to get it or anything like that. Also. Waiting for a launch console to sort of work out some of the bugs is always a good idea. The PS4 has had issues, the HDMI cable had a problem if you jammed it in or put it in incorrectly. You could damage the prongs inside and then you wouldn't really get a good picture or you wouldn't get a picture at all so you'd have to send in your system and it's just a hassle. Also if you can wait even a year or two years you may even get a price drop or a bundle with a bunch of games or an extra controller or something and you can save some money that way. If you're still playing games like Grand Theft Auto 5 or NHL 14 on the PS3 and those are the games you're really interested in and you're not really interested in any specific PlayStation 4 games or something like Killzone which is pretty much optimized for the PS4 and you just want to take advantage of those graphics or anything. If you're happy to play on the PS3, there's no rush to upgrade right now. And a lot of the games that are out for the PS4 are already out for the PS3. You just don't get the graphical uh, advantage of the PS4. So really upgrading at this point isn't a necessity. Maybe down the road it might be if they stop supporting the PS3. But right now you've just got a new controller with the PS4, which honestly I really like. It is a lot more comfortable. It does make playing PlayStation a lot more fun. I like the touchpad. I really like the share features with uh, Twitch and things like that but a lot of people aren't going to be using those features they're going to be mainly using it to play games and something that's really cool is you can actually use the PlayStation 4 control on a lot of PlayStation 3 games personally I used it with NHL 14 and it worked pretty good so in the end it really is going to come down to you if it's worth it to you to spend the money to buy the PlayStation 4 at this point go for it I would say wait a little bit wait for the system to get its bugs all worked out, wait for more games to come out, wait for a bundle to come out so you can get a few games with your system and maybe get a deal on a second controller or something like that. That's probably the best bet. And then you'll be able to get the most out of the system when you do get it. I know when I purchased the PlayStation 4, I didn't have any games. I forgot to buy one, which was stupid. But anyway, I got FIFA. I downloaded it online and really I wasn't too interested in it. It's not as good as I thought it would be in comparison to the PlayStation 3 version. I could have just easily played it on PlayStation 3 and been more than happy with it there. But if you really want the system, go for it. You're probably not going to be disappointed, especially down the road when games start becoming optimized and developers really take advantage of the PlayStation 4's capabilities. Anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable. If you did, hit that like button to let me know. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a PlayStation 4 or what your suggestion is for someone who's thinking about purchasing a PlayStation 4 and upgrading from the PlayStation 3. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.